Hello, this is Torior, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Byzantium. We are just about ready to finish our war with Gazikumuk, and what we would like to do is give all their land to Georgia. So that's what we will start doing. Then we'll see how much of it they can accept, because uh, many of those provinces are already Georgian cores. So it will be easier for them to, to be cored by Georgia. We'll get quite a lot of aggressive expansion probably, but we don't really care about that too much. All the countries that will be affected here are already our enemies. So yeah, no. Sue for peace. Let's give all your provinces to Georgia. Very nice. We'll just... Or only your capital will remain in your hands. Give us all your money. Mm. Give us war reparations because they don't, they don't cost uh, what you call it, a diplomatic slot anymore. Or did they cost diplomat? I'm not sure. No releasing nations, no returning course. We could return the course to Georgia, but it would cost us uh, diplomatic power. Do we want you to? No, oh, that's all we want from you. Yeah, send demand. Okay, Georgia might have some rebel problems now. How overextended are you? Overextension plus 1.8, not too much. Okay, so Georgia, our tiny little vassal, is no longer tiny, but it's still our vassal. When the Golden Horde gets all those territories from Muscovy, Mishar Patriots, are you Golden Horde Patriots? I'm not sure. Um, when all this territory breaks uh, from Muscovy, we might try to expand it that way. Okay, and we are sieging Venice. Let's remove our mm, ruler from command, because we don't want him to die anymore. We won't be coring this province, it's too long to just increase revolt risk. And let's have a look at our rebels, Crimean nationalists again, Azov. Let's see if we can increase autonomy there. No, we've already done that. We should really rush for religious or humanist ideas, most probably religious in our case, but we don't have enough administrative power. Oh, we could take this advisor, but no, he's too expensive. What? 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 Plus 200? Oh, that's because of, uh, yeah, because of the peace deal, we got some money from that. Okay, Austria, we no longer have a royal marriage with you. That is very unfortunate, because we really want to have a royal marriage with you. Would you accept? Yes. Yes, you will. Let's send the offer immediately. So, now when you die, yes, you will get a Paleologos dynasty. Let's hope your king dies quickly. Now, how can we improve our relations? Would you accept an alliance? Yes, if we were not at war. Same with France, but France already likes us. Let's send a royal marriage proposition to Austria, uh, to France as well, sorry. Okay, France accepted the royal marriage. Karaman has entered the coalition, Dalkadir has entered the coalition. Alright, that means that our truce is up. Mm, with Karaman and Dalkadir. Actually, we might want to declare war on Dalkadir. Then we would be fighting just Dalkadir and Karaman. Do we have a claim on you? Do we have a claim on you? No, we don't. But let's let's try. Let's try to fabricate a claim on Dalkadir. Then we could fight just the little two little guys without um, Mamluks being involved. I think it's worth to try that. Being very op opportunistic here. Okay, marriage offer from Poland, of course. Poland, you are an, our best ally. You helped us survive, survive the initial Ottoman attack. Okay. How are we doing on sieging roads? It's taking quite a while. Why, why is the siege not progressing? Why is it not progressing? Hungary has westernized. That's surprising. We have enough troops. Maybe that's because the bloody rebels are the siege leader. That will be problematic. Siege of Friuli is over. Let's see. 
That's because they well, they keep assaulting, yes. But we have enough troops to actually have the siege progress, so I, I don't understand why it's not progressing at least a little bit. Due to siege, minus 63%. Well, it's not going to happen when the rebels are the leaders of the siege, but anyway, our primary target is Venice and not the knights. We can always attack the knights later. Okay, um, so we were supposed to improve relations with Austria as much as we could. Let's do that. Let's keep them in the positives. Oh no, they got an air. Unfortunate, but not really a problem. We can still count on them if we decide to fight France. And we will decide to fight France if they lose um, the king or the heir and have no heir of their own. Then we will try to install our king as theirs. And Austria will be very useful in that. Alright, um, what were we talking about? Yes, we need to finish those two sieges against Venice. How is Georgia doing? Are you calling those provinces? Let's recall a diplomat from Austria. We could improve relations with Georgia, but it's not a priority at the moment. Dalkadir hates us, but they are not allied with anyone. So if we don't get uh, any new members of the coalition, we should be alright. And we shouldn't get any new members of the coalition, because everyone here is at war at the moment. And I don't think you can join a coalition while you are at war. So, let's just have a look, quick look at the coalition. Yes, just Dalkadir and Karaman. So, as you can see, coalitions can also be used against the coalition members. Because this way... Uh, constant auto-saves. Uh, this way, if we attacked Karaman... Well, we couldn't attack Karaman because they are allied with Mamluks and we don't want to fight Mamluks. This way, if we attack Dalkadir... Well, that's a different story. We could take... All of their provinces except one. Way of obscuritism. Obscurantism. We want a national unrest plus two or lose 33 prestige. Hmm. We will actually take the national unrest. Yes, I know it's usually a very bad choice, but we need high prestige if we want to ever get the personal union with France. So we'll try that. And just monitor the rebels closely. If we need to, we will hash treat. We have a lot of military power. I would gladly give up all our military power to get even half of the points in administrative. Peace over from Venice. Oh, Spain inherited the throne of Aragon. Oh yeah, because they probably clicked the button to, to form Spain, right. So now we have a rival very close by. But we weren't planning uh, on expanding this way too much anyway. Oh, the Timurids have come here. It doesn't concern us too much. We're almost done with the claim and we're ready. Okay, now we should declare war on Dalkadir. And Karaman will be called in because they are a member of the coalition. Let's do that. And we can sue Venice for peace because we have full occupied them then we will be able to enter the war. I'm not sure why we are not getting any siege progress on the knights, that's weird. Okay, you guys, attack. Who will arrive first? 11th? 8th. 8th. <laughs> okay, so let's put you. Oh, oh no. We were going to be your ally. Crap. Hmm, that's very problematic, actually. Austria is the last country we wanted as our rival. If Austria gets into the coalition, we will be in serious trouble. Yes, and Austria has cancelled military access. Great. Okay, so... It's becoming harder now. A bit more difficult. Let's chase them. Perhaps we should get some more mercenaries. Or let's just get our troops from Venice. We don't need them here anymore. Get on the boats and move to Anatolia. In the meantime, we will sue Venice for peace. Mm, what do we want from you? We can't annex you. We can't vassalize you. Or we could if it were 
Oh, actually, I didn't. I must have miscalculated. We could vassalize Venice if um, they were co belligerent. So that might be a mistake on my part. Never mind. Okay, so what should we take? Maybe we should take Venezia. It's an important center of trade. It's 74% war score. Or we could take two other provinces Istria and Verona, for example. We won't be taking them for ourselves, we will give them to Croatia. Or should we take Venezia? Let's see what's more valuable. That's 8 base tax, that's 11, and that's 6. So on base tax alone, it's better to take those two provinces. But this is also an important center of trade. So more local trade power. Mm. Anyway, let's transfer occupation of all those provinces to Croatia. Because they are the ones that should have them. And let's let's see. If we took Venezia, we could annul your treaties with Poland. That would make it easier to attack you again. Yes, this might be the good choice. Oh no, but on the other hand, that would move your capital to Verona through or Istria. And those two provinces are actually in the Holy Roman Empire, so Venezia would become a member of the Empire, so Venice, sorry, uh, thus getting the protection of the Emperor, so we don't want them to move their capital. We will instead take those two provinces, or maybe those two provinces, and the annulment of treaties. So first, annul treaties with Poland, yes, take the rich province and the richer province. No, we can't afford that. We'll seat Verona, we'll annul treaties with Poland. Yeah. So take those two provinces and give us all your money. That will be okay. Great. We got some aggressive expansion, but Austria hates us anyway. I don't know why we were such a good ally to them. We only abandoned them twice. Savoy has entered the coalition and Tuscany. That was to be expected. We will face some serious opposition in the North Italian region. So now that uh, Austria is our um, enemy, we should actually try to ally France. But before we can do that, we will have to mm, we will have to finish our wars. Okay, so you guys are ready to move to Anatolia. So get on the ships, go to Sinop. Well, customer, that will be quicker. And you guys, why can't I? Oh, yes, we can consolidate you. Let's just leave one regiment, as per our tradition, and hunt their armies. Austria has entered the coalition. Now, now we will be in trouble if the coalition declares war because Austria is very powerful. We have Poland on our side and if we get France we will be much much more powerful than them. Are we ready to fight the Ottomans? We have a truce for two more years. We should actually start preparing by fabricating claims on them. So Sugia, now we already have a claim on that, Mentes. Good. Okay, again, leave one regiment, just so that they can, can't build any more troops. And attack their arm. No, stop. Oh, almost too late. Our morale hasn't recovered yet. We'll have to wait for a while. Okay, our relations with France have been maxed out. I will recall the diplomat. And after we are out of those wars, well, actually, we are not getting any siege progress on the knights, are we? This, this, this is probably a bug. Because the stupid rebels are not getting any progress, they just keep assaulting them. So what we will do, we will try to peace out the knights, even if we have to um, concede to them. Oh, they will accept white peace. Will you accept vassalization? No. Will you give us money? No. White peace is alright. We will fight them again soon. Okay. Oh, and we are fighting those rebels. Hmm. That's weird. Well, actually, we have been supporting them and we no longer do. Even if we lose that, that's not a problem. Oh, Croatia is fighting their army. Missed that. We won the battle against the rebels. Okay. And Austria is the Holy Roman Emperor again. 
Oh no, this is our province. Why am I leaving troops here? We'll be leaving troops here and then continue that way. Croatia, join me. Will we be quick enough? Yes. Oh, we lost a general. Which one? Where was he? Somewhere, somewhere here, probably. Okay, you guys reinforce the sieges. Mm, misclicked. Two units here, two units here, two units here, two units everywhere. And you guys just go to Karaman. This is an easy war, we should be done quickly. We won't be able to take everything though, because we can't full annex both countries in the coalition war. Okay, you no longer need to attach to me. We can get a new general for free, so let's do that. Oh, he's great, he has siege value and everything. Alright. So let's actually... You have, a siege, you have siege value, so let's leave you in command. You guys go back. We will give you the other siege general and send you somewhere else. As soon as you are in our territory. Yes, uh, siege general. Karaku Yumlu has entered the military coalition. Yes, that's because all our truces are ending. We have to end this war quickly and ally France, so we will be safe. Completely safe. Oh, Georgia is having some mm, some rebels. This is unfortunate. So instead of just sieging all those provinces, we will take the forces that we can spare and send them to Georgia to help them. Oh, France is the defender of the Catholic faith. That might prove problematic, but shouldn't. We're not planning on attacking any Catholics soon too soon. The Reformation doesn't concern us because we are not Catholic, we are Orthodox, so we cannot convert. But Orthodox is a pretty good religion, very nice tolerance of true faith. You guys get on the boats and help Georgia a bit. That's Astrakhan nationalists. How are we doing? Oh, the Ottomans are no longer at war. There, our truce will expire soon. We'll have to be ready. But we can't declare immediately, we have to finish this war first. Okay, let's distribute you a bit. It might prove useful, probably won't. Go to Georgia. So what we need to do is finish this war quickly, ally France and immediately declare war against the Ottomans as soon as our truce is over. So what do we want to get uh, claim on Kutaya because it's high base tax? Or do we want to just... Mm. Oh, you took those provinces. Yes, we definitely want those. Canik and Trebizond, yes. We might give them to Georgia. We don't really need claims for that. Georgia would call them for us. Okay, this is three base tax, this is four. Let's fabricate on them. No, should we should we give them to Georgia? Yes, I think we should give them to Georgia. They might even convert them for us. So fabricate a claim on Kuthaya. Or maybe Yeah. Kuthaya. We'll take as, we will take as much as we can. No. Uh, how long until the truce expires? Mm, one more year. We will probably be unable to finish those sieges by then. Okay, attach to me, Georgian army, come here. Okay, we have to repay some loans, as many as we can. Oh, finished another siege, it's doing it's going pretty well. Just two more. Sorry, three more. Yes, Georgia is attaching, so we will be able to kill the rebels together. Siege of Karaman is over, and this is our good siege general. So let's move him to... Yeah, do it quickly. You guys destroy the rebels. Now, Muscovy is actually sieging the land back from the rebels, but... Oh, it already broke off to the Golden Horde. And this is sieged by whom? 
by what kind of rebels oh, we can see them. Oh, we might lose that one. No, we don't. We're not going to. Siege of Raqqa. Just one more province. Quickly, quickly, do it quickly. Okay, won the battle against the rebels. Detach siege, select army. No longer attached to us. Get back to the ship. How long until the siege finishes? Oh, we might do it this month. This way we would be... Yes, perfect. Okay, now let's finish the war. Mm, full annexation? No. Let's take those four provinces. That will cost us quite a lot of the power, but it doesn't matter. We will call them. Or we could vassalize them both. No, we don't, we don't have the free diplomatic slots. So we'll take all the provinces we can. Just one remaining for them. All the money we can. Oh, give some, give us some more reparations as well. Yeah, that's it. Okay, they accepted. Now we can increase autonomy and start coring in all of those provinces. Oh crap! When we go to war against the Ottomans, we will no longer be able to core those provinces because the Ottomans have cores on them. That will put coring on hold. That is a bit problematic. And we don't have enough administrative power to start coring. So the Ottomans might join a coalition. Should we let them or should we just declare war and take less land? Now we are very overextended, so we have to wait for the course to finish, even if it means the Ottomans joining a coalition. But we can't fight a coalition with Austria in it. Ottomans. Hmm. It's problematic. I'm not sure what we should do here. Mamluks have entered the coalition. Yes, everyone is entering the coalition. Actually, Ottomans are allied with Tunis and Timurids. So if we found a way to declare war on Tunis, that would be enough. Increased coin cost, center of trade, doesn't matter to... Oh, France is offering an alliance. One door four. This is exactly what we want. Are you at war? No. So we have a very powerful ally. Oh, they are in a Regency Council. But he has a strong claim. So after mm, three more years, we might be able to claim their throne. But we probably wouldn't be able to win a war against France. Without help from Austria. We won't even be able to mm, reach them. So we might have to hold off on that for a while. They are still our... Dynasty, this shouldn't be a problem. Okay, you guys get down here using the ships, and you guys join them. Now we are already allied with France now. Oh, revolt in Silistria. Yeah. Get our troops to Constantinople. You guys will take care of the rebels. Oh, looming disaster, what is that? Eh, nothing major. Overextension. Crimean nationalists. I don't really want to fight all those rebels. Should I harsh treat? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, let's just fight the rebels. Keeping it all together proves a bit problematic. I, I thought the Ottomans will no longer be a threat to us, but... Obviously, they still are. Okay. Anything interesting? Excellent diplomacy. Do we want 5 prestige or 25 diplomatic power? We want the diplomatic power. Okay, we're ex we have expanded nicely, but the coalitions are becoming a problem now. We would like Austria to leave the coalition. The aggressive expansion is not too bad. Maybe we will just have to take some time and rest. Well, France is probably preparing to go to war against Austria. This will be a problem. Oh, again, another revolt. Yeah, we expected that. So we probably won't be going to war anytime soon. Do we have enough points to start coring? Not yet. We need 80. That's quite an expensive province. Okay. 
Uh, join the armies. Yes, you are the better general. Go kill rebels. Yes, and the Ottomans have entered the coalition. This is unfortunate, but there's really nothing we could have done. We could have declared war on them, but then we would uh, risk going over 100% overextension, and mm, we wouldn't be able to core those provinces, so that would really be a problem. We will just have to fight another coalition war. Or we will have to wait for our ex aggressive expansion to expire a bit. We can always expand into the Golden Horde. And then, oh, we won the siege. I was certain that it was a lost siege, but it's a good thing. Okay. And we are killing them in Sofia. So the problem now is that everybody hates us. If not for this event that made Austria hostile, we would be really okay with that. Because Austria is a major power, and if we had them on our side, we would be alright. Hmm, maybe they will stop being our rival. Maybe when the... Maybe when the... Hmm, monarch changes. We're still married to them. It is possible that they will get our dynasty, but very, very unlikely. Innovative wave. Administrative, diplomatic and military technology cost reduction. Always useful. But we don't plan on increasing our technology in any of those too soon. Okay, we need to concentrate our armies in the Crimean region so that we can defeat the rebels there. Okay, let's get on the boat. Right. And move. Move to Crimea. Full attack from this side. You guys go through here. Yes. So what else should we do? Oh no, more rebels. Hmm. Yeah, so we are playing Squash the Rebel. Or Walker Rebel. But we will persevere and our expansion is very nice. Might want to annex Croatia because it doesn't seem like we will be able to... Hmm. Let's see, if we attacked Hungary, would France still join them? Yes. But if we were in the same war as France, as they are our ally now, then we might want to expand into Hungary. So yeah, Croatia is still very useful to us. We will have to fire some mercenaries, but after we've dealt with uh, all the rebels here. Okay, get some more troops. I realize I'm pausing too much. Let's go down to speed 3 and uh, stop pausing so much. Yeah, so we will wipe all the rebels in this region. But after that, it's probably best to just not declare any new wars and wait for our coalition to dissipate. Perhaps if France calls us, we will join them. We we'll probably will, or Poland. Let's see our diplomatic map. Yeah, it's pretty good. We still have a marriage with Austria. It's very unfortunate that they rivaled us. They shouldn't have. We could be such good friends. Okay, you guys. Consolidate. So not consolidate. Merge. The armies and kill rebels. Oh, and they won a siege. They're really quick at sieging those rebels lately. All right, we have two free diplomats. We should send them to improve relations. So France is almost maxed out and Poland isn't. So let's improve relations with Poland. And maybe our vassal Georgia. Because we want might want to annex them soon. I don't see much more usefulness for them unless we wanted to use them to... Uh, get land from Karakuyunlu, but Georgia has increased coring costs, so it's not a good idea to use them to get land from anyone. We used them to get land from Gazikumuk because it was mostly already their cores. So it was less problematic. So yeah, Georgia, you'll be annexed soon. Rebel uprising, Turkish patriots. Oh, that's harsh. So high, revolt risk. We actually need to... Um, 
get our reward risk down, we might need to employ the advisor. He's so expensive. We would actually have to destroy all the rebels, take a loan to hire him, hire him, and disband our mercenaries and lower military maintenance as much as we could. Then it would make sense to hire him because we would be able to afford it. Yes. No, oh, another successful siege by the rebels. So I can't say I'm happy about that. Wait a while longer until your morale recovers. Let's go up to speed 4 and attack. Up to speed 3. Did the morale recover or did I actually attack too quickly? I might be a bit too hasty with that one. Alright, battle is finished. Let's leave a besieging army and you guys recover more. Sorry. You guys stay here. You guys recover your morale and then attack the remaining rebels. Actually, we could use some help. So, Georgia, if you can attach to us. If you would kindly grant your help. Oh, province defected. Oh, this is the yeah, Muscovite province uh, defected to the Golden Horde. So the Golden Horde that might be our next target, but they are a vassal of Nogai. So we would have to fight Nogai as well. And we can't reach Nogai unless we go through here. You're right. So what should our next moves be? Well, I'm... Uh, it's really a problem that Austria hates us now, because we needed their help to fight France and enforce a personal union on them. It is very unlikely that the personal union will happen on its own. Okay, you guys detach a siege and continue to the Georgian lands. Maybe the Georgian military will join you to get rid of the rebels together. Dagestani nationalists. Alright, I think this is enough for this episode, and um, we will end it here. We are in a little bit of trouble because our coalition is very big, but we might find a way out of that and keep expanding. Thank you for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!